Yo, what's going on, everybody? What's up? What's up? Special episode today. Uh, we started on a debate at the end of the podcast, but uh, we didn't get a chance to see the whole video. Saw some stuff develop. So, I don't know if it's true or not, bro, but I heard that he actually had the baby, bro, at the crib. Been changing diapers. Uh, and she yeah. living her best life, but I mean, well, I think scroll. that's what to me. Yeah. He's scrolling what through the phone. Life. Can you imagine that? You just change the baby diaper, good night. Nice, go, wait a minute, come on. <laughs> I mean, I think that's what a partnership is. But can you imagine if you uh, actually? Can you imagine if you actually like that song? Now you probably don't like that song now. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. Uh, but I think, I think that's what a partnership really is. You know, What's like, that? Um, you have What's a that? baby, and when you want to go out, she wants the baby, and um, when he wants to, you know, when she wants to go out, you watch it, and vice versa. So, according to yeah. you, he let her go out. With, they live in the same house, so he let her go out the house like that, right? I mean, you don't let a grown person do anything. Uh, but, but I think uh, he, he allowed her. Pain. He allowed her to go out the house like that, right? You don't allow a grown person okay. to do anything. Okay. But uh he was uh, evidently he was okay with her leaving the house like this. You know. Uh, he saw him putting it on and things like that. If he mm. had something to say, you know, Boy. you know, step, speak now or for him to hold your teeth. <laughs> you know what I mean? I think but I think that's what a partnership is. I don't want like if my uh wife, significant other, baby mama, whatever you call it, if she was out, you know, having fun, I don't want my child to be with a babysitter or some random uh, childcare person, I want to spend that time with my newborn. I didn't trust nobody, uh, you know, with my. Son. I, I think and it wasn't. I think it wasn't. It wasn't about the kid. It was just more so like you just take care of stuff at the crib. <laughs> I mean, that's what you're supposed to do. You I mean, you didn't. Household. You know, social media they don't show stuff leading up to the show. They just show you just see Usher dancing on your chick, man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I mean, and that's Usher, and that's at a show. Now, if it was some random guy, that's a double VIP, standard. That's a double standard. No, nah, I mean, I think a yes. woman. A if you man, told, if you told your wife or your girlfriend you was for to go hang out with the fellas, and she scrolled on social media and saw you on stage with Janet Jackson at a Janet Jackson show, her day she know you talking about control. <laughs> like now, but see now you're lying. Like if you say you're going to a Janet Jackson concert. With your boys, you know what I mean? Whatever happens at a Janet Jackson concert happens. Uh, I don't think your girlfriend should be, a girlfriend or wife should be a hater, but like uh, on your experience, you got to experience Janet Jackson all in your personal space. Uh, you know, I mean, I think she would be happy for you. You know what I mean? That woman just got serenaded by Usher. Uh, it don't get, no more VIP than that. So, hey, she had fun. You know, I realized in my life, the more fun, you know, kind of were, you know, uh, in the limits of your marriage. You know, the more fun she has, the more fun you have later. You know, so she got out. He kept his own child. And she wore nothing worse than somebody would wear at a beach, walking down the beach, a pool party, you know. Okay, let's check out the video, Dean. How about that? Let's check out the video, right? And you think that's cool? Yes. For Man, you a performer. Man, you crazy. I mean, Can I you mean, imagine he, he changing, he holding the baby, burping the baby? <laughs> This is not a regular <laughs> man. She paid for those tickets. But what I'm saying is, as a man. dude, this... not, she didn't meet that man. Oh, they got oh, him. Man. I know he that had to hurt him, bro. We just changed. <laughs> I mean, it, it, it's got. I mean, this not like, genuine. What? This not Lloyd. This not uh, you know, pretty Ricky. You know, what I'm saying this not. This is Usher, bro. You see what she just? This Usher, bro. Platinum artist, Vegas residency, bro. They didn't do anything appropriate. She's an Usher fan, having an Usher experience. Like, you see all the women uh, passing out when Michael Jackson just touched them. 
You know what I mean? It's that's right. the fan fucking experience. This ain't the whole video. Not, she was, she was fan. Oh my god. She, 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 that's what you do when you meet a, when you're a fan of somebody. She's man, supposed right. to be uh, a fan of Usher and be in his presence acting normal. That's weird. If yeah. she would have just stood there, that would have been weird. I would have expect uh suspected something on that. Um, but she's just having fun. I mean, that's not just some random guy in VIP grinding up on her. That's Usher. That's the star of the show. That's a platinum selling artist uh, that she paid to see. Seems yeah. like she got her money's worth to me. Oh, man, that's crazy. I'm good, bro. That's I crazy. Happy, you know, for Yeah. Now, if she came back three days, three days later and I ain't heard her, Heard from it three days uh, after the Usher concert. I think she made an answer video. Thing. She told to let it burn, bro. What's that? I mean, I've just seen much worse in my day in real life. I mean, it's like, really, can people do anything without, like, it being, like, how does the other person feel, you know what I mean, or this and that, everything disrespects, so, every, let me ask everybody's you this. so sensitive or in judgmental. Let me ask you this, do you think that if he would have, like, had that dead zone ability, like, remember that movie Dead Zone, with Angela Jolie, dad, when you touch somebody, you can see what they do, <laughs> if he would have saw that, before it happened, you think he would let her lead out? Uh, probably, it's probably not. That would have made her uncomfortable if he could, like, see the actual future and, you know, see, but, um... But you would be okay with it. A handsome, You're... black, successful man, um, you know, you know caressing, it's Usher. embracing his girl. Usher uh, Raymond. <laughs> He's been doing it my way, his way for, for years. <laughs> Um, yeah, man. You know, but I mean, I just want like um, I think if he had the Zed's own power, he would have seen nothing inappropriately sexual happen, and she had a really good time, and he, he would have seen it. Um, I just can't believe he let her walk out the house. You know, he. If grown he people it. don't let other grown people do anything. And why? Why yeah. should he feel? Hmm? Ashamed? Why should she feel ashamed of what she was wearing, or? Why should he be the same? Because she went out in public like this. And, and is it a standard what married people can do or wear and what single people can wear? Is it a, is it, is it a difference? Uh, she wasn't at a boardroom meeting. You sound uh, illogical. Her contract, you she sound was so at illogical. a concert. You sound so illogical right now. But that's how you think. <laughs> like, how is that like, how is okay. She was at a concert. Okay. That don't mean she have to wear that, though. I mean, you can see the crack, literally. You can see the San Andreas fault. <laughs> and you can see the state line, California, her, California in the bottom. Too. California in the bottom. You can see the state line. <laughs> so that makes her less respectable. That makes her, I mean, I think it's, that's maybe appropriate for a concert. You know what I mean? Like I said, she wasn't in the board meeting. I don't think it's appropriate to leave the house. I don't think it's appropriate to leave the house like that. It was a, it was somebody standing next to her. Hold on, it was somebody standing next to her that didn't have that on. Had on a one piece. Let me find it. You know, a lot of people was wearing, uh, you know, shorts and. You see that? Stand, no, no, no. This is a woman standing next to her. Had a she, she had a one piece on. You know, it's still kind of fitted, but she had she had a one piece on, bro. You know, I've seen far worse. And then, like, you got to think, if you a dude, a you got to think, if you a dude, though, and uh, you see her doing it, acting the style, just like this, you got this, both dudes can't handle this. This is an isolated event. You know, she doesn't carry herself like that, you know, um, on a movie set. She don't carry herself like that on a game show. This is a person at a concert dancing. Uh, with one of the most successful R&B artists in the world. You can't dissect this person, portion of a person's life, and they're like that. 
And even if she did, she didn't, didn't do nothing wrong, you know, that I saw. Give me one second, please. Give me one second. You know. Uh, it's just crazy how uh, triggering uh, this is for a lot of people. Uh, you know, I think you're projecting some of your insecurities. Uh, send my, send my camera it. overheating, man. I had to turn the air on, bro. It's kind of crazy. I never had that happen before. First yeah, time. people get some difficulties, you know what I mean? Uh, that's a part of it. But, you know, with her reputation, um, with how she carries herself 99% of the time, yeah, uh, you're gonna judge her off. This, and it, this is really mild uh, compared to what other people have been caught on tape doing. Yeah, I you believe know, you. I don't think, you know, she should have any shame or anything more. You know, um, you have a beautiful um, baby mama, uh, you know, be happy about that. So you don't uh, believe in modesty? You don't think there's a such thing as modesty? Yeah. Modesty is a choice. Uh, I don't project my modest views on other people. Uh, what's too far for me? I, you know, uh, well, my body is not your limit. And I don't mind having a, you know, um, a woman uh, that's a little bit less modest than me. You know what I mean? Uh, I'm going to wear my shorts, you know, to my knees. If she wants to wear something she feels comfortable with, uh, no. I'm fine. With, you know, she's got my protection when she's in my presence. Gotta be tough, uh, man. You know, some stuff, I mean, some stuff, um, you know. So, from so a know, thinking game. Me, everybody yeah. got a line, right? Um, yeah. You know, yours might be at a two in modesty, you know what I mean? Or uh, at a 10 in modesty. Mine just might be, you know, hanging around a three. Uh, you know. Uh, like I say, if I would be fine with seeing a woman without thinking an appropriate thought, if I see her in a bathing suit, or, you know, a Victoria's Secret model, or uh, just looking at Victoria's Secret, the seeing of mannequins, or somebody swimming, if I can control myself or see somebody and just not bat an eye, well, she's at a concert and she's wearing something similar, you know what I mean? Rihanna had a, you know, um, you know, a nice outfit, you know, um, on one of the red carpets that she was on. Yeah. Uh, I'm good. Maybe bro. you wouldn't let your wife wear it, but I mean, no, maybe somebody else would let their wife wear it. But my wife just wouldn't do it. I mean, I my wife just wouldn't do a, it. Yeah. A lot of women don't look like Rihanna, though. You know what I mean? Uh, her brand yeah. is her look. I mean, that's a part of her money in our appeal. So, yeah. Uh, and I don't think people should look too far into it because they're celebrities. Their lives are yeah, very true. different from ours. Oh, yeah. you know what I mean? A lot of us aren't dating the type of uh, women who look like that or can afford to dress like that or look the same when they dress like that. You know, some people, I would, if they wore that, I would turn my head. I would cover right. my son's eyes because they don't look the same. So, but I'm not judging anybody's body. I think, um, you know, you should wear what you want to wear. Uh, you know, long as, um, it's legal and it's appropriate, you know. So, uh, you know, you can't McDonald's say no shoes, no shirts, no service. So you gotta abide by those laws. Uh, but there wasn't there wasn't a dress code. They let her in with it. She wasn't hurting nobody. And we didn't get hurt. Well, she hurt a couple of people's feelings when they saw her. It's like, ooh, ooh. I wish I had that, or I wish I looked like that. We have a lot of people uh, on the with all the opinions, like, well, I wish I had her, or I wish I not like it, like that, you know, and just keep going, um, uh, I've always been a big fan of hers, um, you know, congratulations on all her success, and uh, losing that baby weight, you know what I mean, some people, like me, I'm still trying to share my baby weight, my son's sick. So yeah, um, the, the man. I think though, at the end of the day, though, I think that um, you know, saying everybody do that, gonna do what they gonna do. But she just had some man. That's pretty crazy. I don't know. I don't know. I like. I wouldn't even come out the house this crazy. Like when I was younger, I remember we used to do crazy stuff. Like wear the Lakers shorts to the mall, man. Coming in, <laughs> showing off the quads and stuff, man. But them days over, man. <laughs> you know, I just. Uh, you know. 
wonder why. Why mm -hmm. something is so so superficial um, brings up all these kind of emotion. It's kind of negative emotion. Like I know uh, like, when we was younger. When we was younger, dudes do that. Like, you know, dudes get that ammo. It's like, hey, man, I saw your mom, man. You know what I'm saying? Um, kids kind of got to see that when they get older. So they don't understand what's going on at that time. But the the really What you portray. It. Like, sometimes what you think you're portraying, kind of like you think you're portraying the picture on the McDonald's, like the Big Mac, the picture. But it's not really like that in real life. You know what I'm saying? So... So, you know, that's, that, that um, brings up the point, right? Mm -hmm. What are you? Like, you, are you what you do 99% of the time? Or mm, that's a good question. Are you that 1% of the time? So, mm. if you can see her in this one moment and you can buy her, she's not a good mother, she's not this, and mad, all that, you know, she doesn't respect her man, blah, blah, blah. 1% of the time. But what about the other times that she's working hard? Memorize her. But not get that other time. Sometimes I understand what you're saying. Does this thing like when you all the other stuff she's accomplished, but y'all like y'all minimize a person to that one percent. But it's just like we and talk about what she did wasn't bad. It's like we talking about being a minority male. It's like sometimes you may just get that one interview, and sometimes you got to show out that one percent of the time. Yeah. I mean, life not fair, man. It's just kind of how life is. Life not fair. I mean, but I mean, yeah, well. Especially when you go viral. What if she don't go viral no more? This is the only viral moment she had. What if she don't go viral like that again? Well, we we saw celebrities in much much worse. Yes, we did. But uh, so and then you know they get over it. You know it's here in the moment, gone and next. But you know it's affecting people like uh, the opinions of their marriage and their relationships. They're holding themselves up to these Hollywood standards. Like, but you, I think he like is he a Hollywood like, guy. I think when you meet somebody, though, no, not like, him, but you know, yeah. her. I mean, this, I'm talking about Hollywood, yeah. the celebrity lifestyle. Now, you the know thinking know I mean? part. Now, here's the important part. The thinking part is: Does he stay? Does he keep the relationship? Why would he? I mean, some, I some. I'm not saying he, he shouldn't have should, but some dudes would. Some dudes are better because they can't handle that, bro. That's what I'm trying to tell handle you. What? I mean, what is their passion? Usher, Raymond. Is oh god! I just went knocked down my tripping. That's my fault. <laughs> what is there to handle? Okay, hold on. What is there to handle? Usher Raymond stinging to your girl, bro. Like even for her, VIP. I mean. It sound good it for us saying it. It's not that bad. It sound good for us, but we not the one. <laughs> it sound, it it's, sound. Not that, it's not like she was, you know, black Chippendale naked herself. Listen, like, it's Usher, a performer, came down to her and sung a little soul to her. That's a fraction of her life. And it's a fraction of their relationship. That's how many like dudes? 30 how seconds. How many dudes do we know that secure enough that can handle that? Yeah, in your I'm proximity, not, how many I'm dudes? Not did, losing, how many dudes? I'm not losing you know? my wife, let alone Kiki Palmer, just because Usher signed to but her. But you're not the average. You're not the average dude. I know. Um, I'm just a poor man, just a regular dude. You know, and this is just my opinion. But I wouldn't lose. Um, a woman right. that's been good to me, even if you consider this bad, because I don't consider it bad, if she's been good to me 90% of the time, and she had a night where she didn't if, do It's a double anything, standard, because if a dude did that, it would be, man, they'll be all over dude, bro, on social media. They'll be eating them, eating them for lunch. Without, mean, no question. Like, you know, no question. Like Chance the Rapper uh, got caught with like some man, random like question her. Rapper, you know, man. Are you really using exactly, this as a comparison? But, you know, yes. Exactly. You just brushed that under the rug. Huh? And you said, uh, you said he would be crucified, but you just brushed that on the He did. Didn't he, didn't he get crucified? Didn't he get crucified though? For three minutes? Nah. Uh, kind of don't get the outrage. It's just an isolated moment. Uh, yeah. and I, I understand. It, it's, it's, That's why you got to be careful, though, because 
that, that, that situation. Crazy. Right. You gotta be careful, it man. Doesn't escape me that you know a man represents his woman in the street and a woman represents her man. That mm -hmm. doesn't escape. But it's so much worse stuff that can be going on with them. And we're gonna trip off this. I mean, I wish that was my biggest problem. You know, um, she's a okay. she's always held herself to a good standard, respectable, and all that. And she had a night of fun that she wasn't even. So that's a good standard. Driving, but that's that's a good standard. Smoking. So that's a good standard, though. That's a good standard. Okay. What she had, that's a good standard. What she had, that's a good standard. I don't think it discredits her. I'm not well, saying discredit. I asked, was it a good standard? I know what you're trying to spin it on this right. I'm saying that a good standard though. So is it a standard like? Yeah, she, I want she the truth. Every day. Yeah, is that I a good standard? A, I want the truth. Good standard. Colonel Jessup. Like, uh, Colonel Jessup. I want the truth. Uh, I want. I, uh, I say yes because she. That's what she wore to a concert. You know. She didn't have is to wear she, that though. Is she she didn't have to picking wear that. up her child from daycare, you know, wearing the outfit. Is she at the playground with it? No, the answer is no. So why would she wear that to the playground? I don't think that's playground appropriate. You know what I mean? Um, that's do you, so you think that's out the house appropriate, but just not to the playground? I think it's comfort so appropriate. Nah. I think it's a war so appropriate. I think it's red carpet appropriate. I really think that. That's what I think. You know what I mean? Yeah. But you know, I end up being on the red carpet though. Yeah. Uh, but I think, you know, things, certain things, you know, it, a Halloween costume. It's good on Halloween, right? A swimsuit's good in the water. So I can judge you for what you wear, the Halloween costume you wear, as long as it ain't black face or uh, something offensive, you know, go for it. You gotta express don't yourself. They don't say express yourself. Oh, if it if it does this or if this person don't approve, I can't express myself. True. And that's a lot of people's problem. Well, you know, like a lot of people don't want to get out the hood because I gotta, you know, I'm a strong black man. I gotta portray this. I gotta do this, and I gotta. A lot of people do don't get out the hood because they can't afford it. That's the thing, bro. I mean, but you know what I mean? The things that take place. So you start off at the bottom, like, well, sometimes you don't even want to go to school, don't want to go to college, don't want to be yeah. seen as a geek, don't want to be labeled. Boy, yeah. Uh, and that's thing. So you're like, you don't want to be labeled as a hoe, so you don't do these things. Right. Or you don't want to be labeled as a geek, so you don't do these things. It's the same kind of thing. You hide yourself because you don't want to be, have all these labels. You know what I mean? So, um, so is there you know a certain way? Do? So is there a certain way that an ill repute dress? There's a person that's of ill repute. Guess what? That's the thing. That's the thing that's been getting people for all time. There is not. Because the people really doing the dirt, they can be covered from hands to ankle. Yeah, now that's true. That's and true. real girls get down. But majority, but majority of no, them. No, but majority the that's doing the stuff, yeah. You can find them in your uh, business meetings, in your churches, at the Walmart. PTA, Walmart. Walmart. You can find them there. But those are people who really out there doing it. Boy. And I know that the girls that can really be doing it kind of dress normal. And the ones you be seeing in the club with uh, the random clothes, the really pretty ones, they really not out doing what you think. You know what I mean? A lot of times. But they get the, the backlash of you know, uh, I check some of these group chats, check some of these phones. You'll you'll see some totally different yeah, that's true. Uh, than yeah, what that's you true. see outside. You know yeah. what I mean? You know, men don't like real men don't you know kiss and tell, but you know a lot of them can tell you a story about that girl that that little quiet girl down the street. Boy, you know what true. I mean? Yeah. You know what their supervisor was doing when you you know what I mean? What that straight A student was doing. So don't get treat by them labels or they conservatively dress, you know, woman. You know, the body counts don't matter to me, but sometimes, you know, the pretty ones that dress a certain way, you know, they got moderate to low, but them little, I don't do anything, you know what I mean? Gospel ringtone. <laughs> yeah, boy, you know that social experiment, how that went. 
they got a they want a man with six figures, but they got a body count in six figures. You know what I mean? But uh, live yeah. your life, have fun. Don't you know worry about being you know judged. Is it judging? Oh, if you say this ain't, if it's, if you say that's not cool, is it judging? Or are you just saying it's not cool? I think that's a lot of things people get. They, they think if you say something about it, you're judging a person. I mean, having an opinion, uh, you know, it could be considered judging. You know, well, if it's positive, it's not judging. But if it's negative, it is. So you know, right. that's how right. it proceeds. So you can't positively say that's probably just not a good idea. Huh? Walk out the house like that, and that wouldn't be considered judging. Yeah, that would, uh, because that's your opinion, you know what I mean? Yeah. What heaven or um, other place you have to put somebody in? I don't, but it's somebody that did. Uh, I'm not saying that. But, yeah. but see, the, the weird thing, I like opinion. Like, give me your yeah. opinion, you know what I mean? Yeah, Say what fine. you think of. I yeah. like the difference, you know what I mean? Right. If you agree with him. Like, I don't think it's judging by if somebody said that ain't a good idea. Or you saying it's a good idea. I understand both sides of the fence, you know what I'm saying? It's just, um, like I say, there's uh, what you think and then there's reality, you know what I'm saying? Because everybody's not on the same plane. It'd be different if everybody was on the same plane going by the same rules, but like I say, sometimes there's no rules to war, you know what I'm saying? Exactly, no, love or war, you know? Yeah, so. And they try to make the rules, like, you know, they give you a you know, Bible, you take all these vows and oaths in front of people, you put your hand on the Bible, you wear ceremonies. If oaths, people keep say, them, if the two people keep them. And you say, not, you're not gonna do this, but then two years later, you're out of love. But what about uh, the vow you took? What about, we? you remember we, we said it to God and God was supposed Ooh. to be important to us. Yeah. Uh, my family and your family came out. We paid all this money. Man. And well, sometimes people just grow apart and it's nobody's fault, you know what I mean? Things like that. Yeah. Um, you know what I mean? You gotta do you. I mean, you gotta, you know, be yourself and uh, you know, live your truth, whatever that is. You know what I mean? Yeah. Some people change every day. That's some true. people can be the same. Um, some people can grow more together, some people can grow like apart. They got a lot of cliches to, yeah. um, to call We're gonna have to tackle that on the podcast about those cliche sayings, baby. We got to tackle those, man. We got to start right yeah, now. Yeah, it is what it is. You know what I mean? Yeah. But it ain't what it might be. Boy, because one thing I thought about too, uh, we were talking about it on the podcast on later things, like minding your business, like what they mean in real life. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I mean, that's real, man, minding your business. You know, some people are like, well, I gotta say something. Saying something may be you a whole world of trouble you don't want. And but then sometimes keeping a secret, you know what I mean, can make yeah. you complicit. That's true. Like, it's illegal to keep that secret, bro. They find out you know, you know what I mean, you're gonna be held accountable. You know what yeah. I mean? So uh yeah. sometimes the best the business might just stay away from stuff that look like it's gonna be something. Avoid it, yeah. Curiosity will, you know what I mean? Like Boy. I didn't tell nobody, but you know, they know you know. Yes, sir. But yeah, guys, we get ready to sign out, man. We just wanted to come laughing, man. <laughs> Laugh a little bit more about it, man. It's just pretty crazy. I hope he wasn't at home taking care of the kid. That would suck so bad. If he was I home. hope he was. I would have been like, if my baby mama was out, like having fun, like I want to be with my child. I'm just saying like the double standard. If a woman, child. what I'm saying is the double standard. If a woman was doing that at home taking care of the kid and he was at a Janet Jackson concert, and she was dancing on them. Dude would get crucified. I you know what I think is the kind of opposite. I think it's so normalized for the woman to be staying at home and the man, the man to be living his best life doing whatever is her no more. duty. No, no more. Be at that. No, no more. So you're no, no going more. against. What's that? No more. You know, I think. You know, I mean, I still, I still think that's the, uh, that's the standard. You know what I mean? The we just saw it. Better. They are I mean, saying she's like living her best life. We just saw it. She just said she's living her best life. We just saw the example. I mean, that's just like one incident. Oh, one incident. Okay. But I still okay. think the constant is, mama, and it, matter of fact, I think that's the problem with her. People have a problem with her going out and have fun um, because a woman's place is to stay at home and um, and take care of the kids. I'll do That's why a lot of people are upset because she wasn't at home. She just had a baby. 
Why? I'm looking at it why from. Even walk me out? I'm looking at it from the dude's stand. I know it hurt, man. You scrolling through social media to find out, like. <laughs> He didn't catch her making a sex tape. He was no, he, he was did, just, but Usher, Raymond. I mean, I think that you make me want her my way. <laughs> oh, so, like every time you, you know, uh, like, just like he was saying it different. He no, said, no, when, like you, when, you insecure, when you insecure, it's going through your head, you know what I'm saying? It's like he's singing different. He's hearing the notes a little different. This, this ain't how he sounds on the CD when I was listening to him. <laughs> but that's weird. It's like, so every time your um, your <laughs> wife listens to um, Babyface, why are you listening to him so hard? Why why he getting you in the mood? Why you know, hey, why you smiling? But if you if you if you but if she went to a concert, he brought on stage and sung to it. Most dudes that do that though, why you listen to Babyface so much now? Yeah, this is that much. And that's insane. Uh, yes, like, it's definitely like, insane. It's this insane. There's a lot of people out there like that though, bro. That's what make you kind of crazy, man. Just. I mean, that's what make me scared for women sometimes. If you got somebody <laughs> a co off the the hinges. They do the same work, thing. But, they do the same thing though. You know, um, but yeah, uh, you know what, you know. If, if a girl say, uh, they were talking about Zion, and the dude say, man, let me go look up Mariah Mills, man, you get crucified for this, bro. <laughs> it's a woman on a computer screen. And this is, you know, uh, going to watch her perform live is a whole different thing than uh, going to watch uh, Usher perform live. I don't know. It depends, man. I ought to be holding what lens you looking at that through. Really, I don't really think it's true. Apparently it was because he tripped on on social media. He posted it. Apparently it was. <laughs> I mean, but that's that's him, and I don't think that was a good move. No, uh, definitely matter, was not a good no, move. I, thought, I think it's a good move because I mean they're <laughs> getting a lot of uh, buzz right now. Yeah, uh, she definitely get a lot of buzz. Situation. Yeah, um, man, that's tough, man. That ego, is something else, man. That man, I mean, something else. Still, like that's still his baby boss. Like you know what but I mean? That's Usher Raymond. That's still Usher Raymond too, bro. He's he still winning, but look. <laughs> who's she gonna hold to? Us? Who? Who's she gonna hold yeah, to? Us or that dude? And that's what you gotta think about. You never know. She might have got his number in the phone. <laughs> you hope not. <laughs> so you want to set trip? That's a I lot guess of so. Like you got. It is a lot of things. Scenario. You're right. That's what uh, making funny, Usher man. Got her number. That's what makes going to be a comedian, man. Just man, imagine just being on stage breaking it down as a comedian, man. <laughs> He's changing the diaper, man. Looking at his phone, man. <laughs> Wait a minute. Or like, you know. He said it was girls phone. night out. I didn't know they was going to be doing that. <laughs> hey, you see what she did to your girl? Man, you know they was doing it, bro, on social media, bro. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I would take that. Because you know some dudes in the hood, if Usher would have came over there towards that girl, yo, they would have pulled the shirt up like, nah, this ain't where you want to be, dog. You right. I don't want to. He going to slide over somewhere else. You know what I'm saying? But that's, it, that's it's insane. insane. It, it is insane. About doing, I mean, it's Usher. I mean, let her have it this is. thing. Nah. This, we sitting in like the eighth row somewhere. We're not sitting on the first. He, but he be walking the whole show, though. You don't just do the first front row. You'll do the whole show. You go all the way to the back. So now you at a concert. Where are we about? Who? <laughs> I'm not going to it, so I'm not worried I mean, about that. You're not even going to do any male performance, cause man, you might think no. my girl, man, I can't do it. That's insane. What's that? It's insane. So you'll take your girl to see Usher? For sure. On the front row? For sure. And then you'll let her dance on? For sure. Okay. <laughs> We're close on that. Do I believe you? Absolutely not. <laughs> Absolutely not. <laughs> but you, you know. Look, but I would, you, hey, if you say you will, you, though, okay, I get it. Hey, you. Look, you get the win after the show anyway. He said what? You get the win after the show anyway. <laughs> you know. Now letting her like go on tour with Usher for like the next three weeks. You know, no. Nah. Mm. Uh, but and they were that saying on that. Sometimes that one decision can just affect you, man. It just has prolonged effects, you know what I'm saying? So that's the whole thinking game, right? It's that one decision. You got to be careful just those one decisions. So nobody's perfect, but you want to be close to efficiency as you can, you know what I'm saying? So. Yeah, I mean, like some, 
you know, uh, nobody's perfect, but you can see somebody, you know, jump a fence or play wrestling a thousand times, and you play it once and you die. <laughs> play once. <laughs> and they play it a one. thousand times. Your friend did it. It's like there were drugs. It's like there was sex. Uh, you got a friend sleep around all the time. Man, the second time you do it, hurt Boy. his age. You know what I mean? Or things like that. You know what I mean? Man. Um, we don't know whose number is going to get picked. It's roulette, like playing roulette. It's even more riskier now playing roulette. It's even more riskier you know, now, just, man. You know, trying to make safe choices. I mean, we're, gonna, yeah. we're all going to make mistakes. People going to judge yeah. you if you do the right thing yeah. and if you do the wrong thing. They're going to find something about you to be next. Yeah. So if you dress conservative all the time, they're going to say something about you. Yeah. If you dress um, That's true. Empty one or two times, they're going to say something about you. You dress um kimpy all the time, they're gonna say something about you anyway. I always ask people, do you believe in the Bible first? Is do you believe in the Bible? If you don't, then probably you know you do some crazy stuff. You know. But everybody uh, don't believe in the Bible the same way. You so. say, you know, some people are like what what if they what if they spiritual? I believe in uh, the Bible, but I don't believe in God. I follow the principles, you know what I mean? Like how? Like you know what I mean? Or, or I believe in God, but I don't believe in the Bible. Uh, yeah. people are gonna have their own role. It's they will. I don't have any yeah. kind of opinion on them. You know what I mean? Uh, God reaches you how he reaches you. That's true. But the results always speak for themselves. That's what I always say. I remember before I didn't, yeah, my results was terrible. It's just so much better now. So I take the results I have now. Man, was out there. Like Mike at 20 might have been gave you a different answer, but Mike at 40, man, live life a little bit. You understand how life go, man. So. But yeah, man, if we get ready to sign out this thing, y'all. We had to come give y'all a quick little snippet, man. I know it's probably maybe a little longer than that, but do some editing here and there. But, but yeah, man, I thought you was going to change your mind, but you still stuck on it. I see you still stuck on that, so you, you think know, she um... did? Tried to sway you a little bit, that ain't gonna work. Oh no, people gotta be free, you know what I mean? And uh, you know, you still kind of rigid, you know what I mean? Let people uh, enjoy their lives. Yeah, guys, we're trying to warm up for the NFL because that's when we're going to be debating in NFL stuff, man. We feel to come up on there and be debating NFL stuff. So we're trying to warm up, man. And get ready for it, man, because it's going to be crazy. When did the NFL start? And is it October? Whenever they want to start. Yeah, somewhere in there. I can't remember, yeah. But yeah, guys, we get ready to sign out, man. Think you want to say before we sign out, bro? No, nah, no. Nah. All right, y'all.